Hi bro, good to see you in the new video. I hope you're in a great mood, and even if you're not now I'll cheer you up. Let's imagine what it would be like if you were a speed god. Best comments from the last video, I really enjoy reading everything, and if you want to get into the next video just subscribe and write a comment. Enjoy watching. Prologue. On October 10th, two children were born to the Hokage, a boy Naruto and a girl Naruko, but suddenly Minato hears a body fall and sees a man in a mask who takes Naruto in his hands and holds a kanai on his cheek and hears the boy crying. Get away from the Jinchuriki, the stranger said. What will happen if I don't leave? Minato hissed. And the stranger throws the baby up and exposes the kanai and Minato, thanks to the flight of the thunder god technique, grabs Naruto and lays down with Naruto. Meanwhile, the stranger pulled out the bijou from the kushina, Minato sees this and takes Naruto in his arms and the kushina and adds the seals of the death god's jump, but his hands are stopped by Hiruzen and says. You are still young, live with your wife and children. And Hiruzen folded the seals and messed up a few and blew into Naruto not only Kurama but also the god of speed, and Minato blew a small part of the bijou into Kushino so that Kushina would not die but also restrain the bijou and Naruto's hair turned blue and his eyes were purple blue red with animal pupil and Minato was frightened that Naruto had taken possession of the bijou and put the basket with him near the threshold of the nearest shelter with a note from Uzumaki Naruto knocked on the door and left Naruto was a genius at one year he learned to speak and walk at three he began to write and read, and at four he awakened the focus of the chakra. Seeing such success in Sensei, Kakashi was assigned to him. 2. Chapter Naruto is walking downtown with a bag of goodies Kakashi gave him. For hard training and reading a book about anatomy and ran into a girl of 12 years old with black hair and eyes, Naruto immediately realized that this was an Uchiha. Sorry, I read and did not step aside apologized Naruto. It's also my fault I didn't see you said the Uchiha. I know how to fix it thinks Naruto. And holds out a stick with a dango Uchiha did not take a small gift from the young Uzumaki for a long time, but still took. What is your name? Naruto asked. Mate did not finish the Uchiha. Uchiha interrupted Naruto. Can we take a walk? Naruto asked. Well, you can. What is your name? The Uchiha asked. Now I will say my name and she will leave immediately was not. Naruto exhales sadly and says. Naruto Uzumaki. And immediately got sad. Why so sad asked Mei. That you didn't leave. Naruto said in surprise. Why should I leave? The Uchiha asked. Usually when they know my name, everyone immediately leaves. Now I will describe Mei, a beautiful girl with a good figure, her hair and eyes are black, like any Uchiha, she looks about 12 years old. How old are you Naruto asked. I'm 12 and you Naruto. And I already said 5 with joy Naruto while smiling at all 32. I'm sorry, what? I can't believe you must be lying said the Uchiha. I am telling the truth. Naruto said indignantly. Okay, where are we going? Mei asked. Naruto replied to my favorite place. And he took Mei to the Hokage mountain, it was already evening, and the sunset was so clearly visible on the face of the two Hokage and he was very beautiful. Then Naruto went to a sweet shop and bought a dango and gave one stick to Mei. Well, I went said Naruto. Wait, where do you live? Mei asked. In the shelter number 7 answered Naruto. And so a year passed and Naruto entered the academy. Kakashi taught him well and perseverance with genius helped him, he talked with Kurama along the way. Flashback. Naruto was walking around the shelter and suddenly hit his head on the table and when he opened his eyes he found himself in front of the cage when the darkness dissipated he saw the Kyubi rolling on the floor and neighing at the top of his voice and at the same time he says. Here's a fool at the same time he did somersaults ha ha ha. Naruto looked at him like he was a fool and asked. You are a fool Kyubi-sama. Kurama looked at Naruto, he was sitting seriously and said. Be afraid of me baby. Naruto thought this was cute and he began to roll on the floor and neigh even louder than foxes and spoke through laughter. Let's be friends. And what's the name? The fox thought for a moment and said. Kurama, yes, I agree, but now I didn't finish speaking foxes. 
The rack frame said leaving a man of about twenty with blue hair disheveled in all directions. Karama bowed and said. Hello Amura-sama. Sorry for impudence but who are you who asked Naruto? I am the god of speed or Cupid said the man. How did you get into me? Naruto asked. The old man, in his old age, confused the seals. And I'm here with the fox. Naruto said happily because this is his potential sensei. The end of the flashback. And he went to the academy. The course of the academy was designed for four years. Naruto decided that he would finish in one year. With these thoughts, he entered the office and sat in an empty seat. Then a man came in with a scar on the bridge of his nose and said. Hello Naruto, I'm Irika sensei The class will now all go out and be provided. Naruto was not interested and he fell asleep, but woke up. When it was his turn. He came out and said. I'm Naruto Uzumaki and I'm six years old. And Naruto sat down in his place, everyone was indignant why he only said his name and age, and then everyone's mouth fell first at the port, because with them to study a genius who went to the academy not at eight, but at six. Anyway, it's far from Itachi and Kakashi, but still. 3. Chapter And that's when Naruto went home and went to bed and immediately hears screams. Hey, don't sleep, go to training, I'll teach you the speed mode, but only the initial stage, because if you try stage 2 in this state, you will die, said the voice. Where the hell are you? Naruto said. I'm in my head, I'm the god of speed you're so dumb. Cupid answered. Okay, okay, I'm going, Naruto said wearily. Naruto came and said what to do next, while the umbu was following him. Imagine that you are faster than the lightning itself and at the same time close your eyes and concentrate on the whole body and open your eyes and see for yourself what will happen said God. Okay, I'll try when he did everything, nothing happened. What the hell didn't happen, Naruto said indignantly. You did everything badly try again the God of Speed said. Okay now everything will be. Naruto did just that and, to check, he took out a kunai and threw it and it flew so slowly that Naruto freaked out Naruto just walked up to the kunai and threw it up but when he flew up he easily caught him before he flew higher than Naruto and he noticed an umbu who was watching him and went up to him and hit him on the cheek with his fist and then from his foot in the face and knocked him out. From the umbu. Umbu's thoughts, a strange fellow talking to himself I don't understand why I should follow him why he closed his eyes opened and muttered something very strange closed again caused that with him some blue lightning strikes directly at him that lightning strikes in a burst and something me hit. End of Umbu narrative. Wow, that's power, well, I went, said Naruto. Naruto reached the middle of Kanoha and remembered that he was super fast. Damn how to stop her help me shouted Naruto. Think that you have the same speed. Then as you learn. You can do this well and turn on the speed faster said Cupid. Naruto did so and his normal speed returned to him. Naruto I'll tell you something important listen to me carefully God said. Well said Naruto. I am the most powerful god of speed, I am one of the few who got out on this world and in the world of speed there are demons of speed, gods of speed and supreme deities, as well as one whom you know about too early, they are much stronger than you and me. You have to defeat them, or rather the most important thing, they want to capture all the time worlds, and then others, including yourself from the five high-speed world, there are only six of them, the strongest creatures and gods, the demons of the deity in five, the weakest in three there are lower speed creatures they are faster than you. That's all I wanted to say you need to train. God said. Naruto was taken aback by this but quickly moved away. Understood, accepted, will be taken in further actions, said Naruto, and went to bed, and when he woke up, he had breakfast and washed himself and went to the academy, he was bored, he slept with Shirkai, and after the academy, Naruto decided to call me for a walk. Naruto has exactly sixteen years to train them make the most of it Naruto came up to Mei and asked. Do you want to go for a walk? She thought for a long time and said. Yes. But here some Uchiha abruptly approached. No. Mei said with hatred in her voice. Naruto freaked out asked. Why? And the Uchiha answered. Well, you're a demon jerk. Naruto thought that she was only walking out of pity for him. He went to the training ground and asked God. 
can you teach me a trick? Yes, of course, I'll get out of your body right now, because I already broke the seal a long time ago, God said. Throw a kanai at me ordered Cupid. Naruto threw a kanai and Cupid began to vibrate and the kanai flew through him Naruto went nuts from what he saw. First learn how to do this and then I will teach you how to do it with any part of the body, just take your speed and stand still and God threw a kanai at him and he flew through Naruto Naruto screamed and was delighted and turned off the speed and. Now do this with any part of the body Naruto said Amura. Naruto began to accumulate speed in his hand and his hand began to vibrate, he freaked out and his hand became intangible. Tomorrow I'll teach you a new trick, but for now God said to go home. Naruto went home ate and sent the clones to training and fell asleep, and when he woke up he spread the clones and eight stood on his feet. For Naruto God of Speed Naruto forgot to make clones for sleep, so he was very tired, but he shared his Kyubi chakra with him and Naruto returned to normal. Having done all the water procedures, Naruto began to prepare breakfast, after that Naruto got dressed and went to the academy, he went into the classroom and sat down at the desk and after five minutes the bell rang Naruto always came to the academy ahead of time for five minutes immediately Iroko sensei came in and May Naruto freaked out and Iroko said. This is Mei Uchiha, she will help me today. Naruto sighed heavily and went to bed, and now he feels that something is flying at him, he did not even open his eyes and dodged. Yawning, he said. Let me sleep well. And everyone looked at him with surprise. May helped Iruki, but Naruto was sleeping when Naruto woke up, he went home and they were embarrassed because the school day had not yet ended. A year has passed. Naruto is going to the genin exam and he saw the Hokage praising his son for his progress. Naruto was summoned. He went into the office and saw that Hokage 4 was sitting in front of him and some old man in bandages, also Iroko sensei and Mizuki. According to the classics, create a replacement clone and Shenge Naruto dealt with it and went home Iroko sensei wanted to tell Naruto that he forgot the bandage, but he saw that it was not on the table and Naruto turned to face them and said goodbye and Iroko saw the bandage on him. In the meantime, Naruto went to note that he had become a shinobi, but he only drank juice, and so at the bar he sat next to the bar and told me, as usual, the bartender, nodding his head, poured apple juice into a glass and topped up a glass of grape juice, and now Naruto began to drink like a Tsunade sat down next to him and said. How old are you, little one? Naruto replied. Minus seven years. Tsunade choked and then Naruto drank a glass of juice and went home when Naruto came home in the evening he went to the shower and went to bed because he went to the Hokage and asked that Naruto be taken to the ANBU. The Hokage did not want to take him for a very long time, but when he saw his strength, he agreed. Minato could not even think that Naruto was so strong, of course he is far from many ANBU, but he gets into the team only with the strongest. Tomorrow at 10 o'clock, Naruto had to come to the root training ground, since there were all the umbu fights for passing into the Kanoha umbu, Naruto came to the base, he was met by Danzo and said. 5. Naruto's umbu days and Naruto sensei. Danzo said. Come in, I'll take you to the root polygon. Naruto nodded his head and they went to the base where the guy in the hair mask was. Hokage said. You need to beat the hair or hold out with him in battle for 30 minutes. The Hokage said. Naruto nodded his head and immediately appeared behind the hair and kicked in the head and the hair passed out. You are now in the ANBU tomorrow at 8 o'clock in my office here is a mask for you positive fox the Hokage said. Naruto nodded his head and went home. Here Naruto in the Hokage's office in a fox mask next to him were a dog, a dragon, and a raven. Your first S rank mission is to arrange a mist swordsman, now he is not as strong as he used to be, so it will be easier. Hey they said in unison. Mission was successful. Five years later. Naruto in the Hokage's office. Naruto tomorrow you will become a jonin mentor said the Hokage. Naruto's face twisted. I'm a jonin mentor, why are you tormenting me Kakashi said Naruto almost crying. And Kakashi will be sensei too said the Hokage. Okay I go said Naruto. Naruto went to the academy tomorrow. In academy. Commando number 10 Akimichi Chuji Ino Yamanaka Shikamaru Nara Mentor Uzumaki Naruto. Meanwhile Naruto. Naruto entered the office and said, the 10th team. Inoshikacho came to me and followed Naruto. I know everything about you, 
so you can go home and entered some kind of portal, leaving it, Naruto was at home. He learned a lot and could pass through objects. Naruto went to the house. After all, he walked with her even when she was at the academy. Mei was always busy and Naruto met Ino. Get ready and go to the training ground number 10 Naruto said. Aha said Ino. Naruto was already waiting for him at range 10. I love you Ino, Naruto said. What sensei do you love me said Ino in a figa. Yes said Naruto angrily. I said Ino in shock. My feelings are mutual said Naruto. Sensei 100%. 6. Naruto conversation Hokash and training began. After that, three months passed, Naruto taught the trio to walk on trees and on water, they also all improved their clan techniques. And on the heels of the Chunin exam. Naruto was returning from a mission to Konoha Naruto used the speed god power he had developed. Up to level 2, Naruto began to train even harder. He could already run at Mach 4. And now Naruto was already at the gate of the Kanozi, he calmly passed through the guards and went to the Hokage. POV, Hokage. I read the reports of the Jonin and the Umbu also prepared documents for the Chunin exam, he is already running out of time in two weeks. After finishing work, I began to look at the picture with the time of Hishirama Senju, it depicted a forest and mountains, also a great forest technique one Hokage in the middle of the mountains, an old picture, but I really like it, I'm waiting for Naruto Uzumaki and suddenly he appeared in front of the house. Naruto, I brought the mission report, I'll go. Hokage, no wait you know the exam is coming soon. Naruto, yes I sparse with my Jinan to hand it over. Hokage, okay now you can go. Naruto immediately disappeared, but in his place there was a trace, as if the Hokash lightning was used to it, Naruto went to the training ground to improve his control on the fox chakra, he could already freely receive it in small quantities, he created several hundred clones and learned chakra control training. 7. Karama Chakra Training and the World of Speed And so Naruto entered his subconscious and created 200 clones that began to take Karama's chakra after half an hour, all the clones dispersed Naruto got their fatigue and knowledge and because of this he fell into a daze when he was passed out. He realized that he needed to send 200 more clones sleep and rest so as not to get tired of Naruto when Naruto opened his eyes he saw the god of speed in front of him. God, oh you woke up leave your clones and go to the world of speed. Naruto, to training. God, yes but first you will fight with the weakest bearer of speed in my world. Naruto, yes, I'll smear him. God, okay get up and head over to that portal. Naruto got up and went to the portal and entered it, he found himself on a flat field in the distance, rocks could be seen. The earth was purple. God, see what advantage he had if not Karama that you were dead he only had level 3 speed. Naruto, why is the speed so much higher than mine and it's only level 3? God, I see you already understood the difference yourself now your clones will train here. Naruto, I understood only here it will be 200, both in the subconscious and at the training ground. God, by the way, time passes faster here you're only here for half an hour and in the real world it's been two hours but it's not important for you but soon don't forget the Chunin exam and you will take part there as an examiner yes at the last level you can watch. The future is a month ahead, yes, and now, in the subconscious, there they have already become Kurama. Kuruma, Naruto I will tell you my story the time has come and about the prophecy that was 1000 years ago well here I was. 8. History of Kurama the Conqueror I was born 4000 years ago and I was married to a fox named Kitsune she was cute and beautiful. I had 6 children and lived in a world of summoning that was closed to everyone except us. I was the son of the fox king when Hagoromo called me, I was very surprised because someone called me, but he said. Hagoromo, help the great fox divide the ten-tailed chakra into eight parts. Kurama, I feel you are strong and your soul will be tasty, and strong, okay, I will help you. After that, Hagoromo and Kurama shared the chakra of the ten-tails. Hagoromo gave part of his soul to the fox. But after Kurama ate part of the soul of the Atsutsuki, he could not get into his world. Kurama, hey man, what the hell? Hagoromo, this part of my soul had a seal that binds you to this world for 5,000 years. Sorry, mighty fox, but my tail children need someone to guide them on the right path after my death. Kurama, 
Okay, but if you give all your soul. Hagoromo, well, I'm going to die right away. Kurama, if I eat it, you will die, otherwise it will be kept by me, and after your death, I will eat it. Hagoromo, okay, I agree. Then they shook hands. Hagoromo gave eight-tailed Kyubi before talking to them. After that, they parted ways. It took 500 years for the tailed ones to become independent. Hagoromo died four centuries ago. Kurama lay quietly in the dense forest, remembering his children and wife. Kurama, well, kid, there's a part of my story that you don't know. The fox spoke almost crying. Naruto, you still have 4,000 years to sit in this world, I promise I will find the soul of this old man and open the seal. Just promise that we'll see each other. Kurama looked at Naruto and said. Kurama, I promise baby. Mission and new pet. Naruto felt sorry for Kurama, but he couldn't do anything with the powers he now had. He promised that he would train harder. Naruto was on fire with this idea to help Kurama. And immediately began to train the chakra of Kurama. Then he went into the world of speed after two hours he left. Then came physical training. And so every day for a month, Naruto did this training. He became stronger, his speed level increased. Naruto was sent on a mission of S rank, he did not really want to go on it, thinking that it would be boring. He was sent alone. Naruto also began to learn the blood speed technique. The essence is simple to absorb all the blood and increase your speed. There is an improved version with the absorption of the soul, but Naruto was still too weak for this technique. Let's get back to the mission. Naruto has been accompanying a very rich merchant for two days now. There were rumors that he was richer than the feudal lord himself. Of course, there were rivals in the rank of elite jonin, but for a speedy boy, they were just toys. On the third day, not far from the camp with the merchants and his servants, Naruto felt a strong chakra that was approaching at great speed. The boy smiled and immediately a leg flew into his face, but he blocked it. He was attacked by a man with long hair. The clothes were new. Red eyes and an animal grin. Naruto slammed into him at incredible speed. He hit the ground. There was a puff of smoke. When the smoke disappeared, there was a lis in front of Naruto. Naruto smiled and picked her up and carried her to the camp. Since then, he has been his pet. The camp was not happy, but they were afraid of Naruto. In the morning they set off again. After eight calm days they reached the city. Naruto received the money personally from the merchant. Approximately two million Rio. Naruto bowed to him and left the city. After that, he gained maximum speed and after twenty minutes was at the Hokage. He was paid money for the mission. And he went home. Where the fox was waiting for him. On the way, he went shopping and bought food for two. He got home. Poured fox food lay on the bed and began to think. Naruto, I don't have time to deal with the team. It's good that the Hokage replaced me. And this Ino runs after the new one. She broke up with me and is dating him, but still my feelings have cooled down for a long time for her, all the same, she is far from May. Her knockout, but it's time to continue training, but you need to name a pet. Alchemy. Naruto decided to do alchemy after reading some books. Because the high rank of alchemy allows you to make potions of the highest quality and sell them expensive. And alchemists are valuable people. Naruto decided to visit the country of herbs after the missions. Past all the missions in total there were five 3S rank missions and two A rank missions. Naruto grabbed his fox and ran to the country of grass. Naruto ran for two hours. There was no one on the border of the country. After three minutes, a city appeared on Naruto's path. Naruto bought a cauldron and raw materials for the potion. And moved on after about ten minutes, he ended up in a big city. Where there were shops for alchemists on every corner and there were lively disputes about herbs. Naruto knew that there was an association of alchemists. But it was too early for him. Wandering around the city, Naruto came across a young guy about eighteen years old. With an attractive appearance. Naruto began to have a dialogue with him. At the end of it, he found out that the guy's name was Furesa. K.O., and he has been doing alchemy for four months, and he can help you get comfortable in the city. 
Naruto didn't mind. They moved to the guy's house. Soon they arrived at their destination. The guy's house was the most ordinary, except for the Chigun cauldron. Naruto threw his things on the sofa while taking out herbs. He wanted to immediately start alchemy. But the guy said that it was necessary to prepare the cauldron. Furusuko took the cauldron and left somewhere. Naruto waited for 15 minutes, but prepared all the herbs for a potion of temporary strength, something like the pills of the Akimichi clan. The guy returned with a cauldron. Naruto filled the cauldron with herbs and began working with chakra. Alchemy needs another chakra similar to healing, but still requires more control. After half an hour, the cauldron began to boil even though there was no water. Within three hours of hard work, Naruto managed to make a potion of strength of the lowest class. The alchemical chakra is amazing. It transforms molecules, thereby changing the composition of substances. This requires the highest control of the chakra. That's why alchemists are so expensive. Furusuko was shocked with Naruto. Naruto gave the guy a potion and left the house. He went to the world of speed and trained Kurama's chakra to achieve his goal. After three hours, Naruto went to the guy's house and went to bed. In the morning he was gone again, but Furusuko was not worried. Naruto had to urgently go to the Hokage. After a long time, Naruto stood at the door of the Hokage. And the Hokage began to speak. Hokage, Naruto, you have already grown up and outgrown yourself many times. The time has come to reveal who your parents are. Naruto already knew why they hated him, but not a word about his parents. Although he guessed who his mother was because of the clan, because there was no one in Kanoha besides Krishina from Uzumaki. But he had versions about his father. Listened to the Hokage and left his office with mixed emotions. After all, his father was Kanoha's yellow lightning, but Naruto has no equal among shinobi. And Kushina's mother, as he expected. Naruto decided to rest a couple of days in Kanoha and go back to the land of herbs. During these days, Naruto ate noodles and went to hot springs. On the last day, he remembered that he needed to train in speed and in Kurama's chakra control. All day he shone this after which went to bed. After he felt a surge of strength, this meant that he had reached a new level of speed and became faster. Having collected his things, he went out of the gates of Kanoha, after which he rushed at an unprecedented speed. He reached the city much faster than at that time. Approaching the house he knocked on the door of his alchemist friend. After a short time, the door was opened for him. His friend made progress in his skill. Which he told Naruto. Naruto went into the room overjoyed for his friend. But he was rescued and given herbs on credit, the herbs were suitable for a lower health potion. After a while, Naruto got the potion he needed. He put it in his pocket and Naruto left the fox to look after his apartment. After five days of practice with his friend. They both improved their alchemy, but not by much alchemy requires the best chakra control. As usual, Naruto was practicing, but suddenly there was a knock on the door. Naruto ran to open the door thinking that his friend had come with herbs, but when he opened the door he saw Naruto ran to open the door thinking that it was his friend who came with herbs, but when he opened the door he saw Naruto ran to open the door thinking that it was his friend who came with herbs, but when he opened the door he saw. Strange guest. There was not his friend, but an old man. With long hair and a long beard. The man entered the house without an invitation. And going around the whole house, he asked Naruto. Man, where is Furusuko? Naruto answered him. Naruto, he went for raw materials. The man looked at Naruto in surprise and asked. Man, do you do alchemy together? Naruto nodded and the man continued. Man, I wanted to take him to the temple of alchemy and train him properly. Yet he is a descendant of the creator of alchemy himself. Naruto was extremely surprised, but then he became sad. The man called him into the room. Seeing the boilers, he laughed. Naruto looked restlessly. But the man immediately said. Man, you can't do anything worthwhile on these pieces of iron. But at these words, Furusako entered the room. The man turned around. And Furusako opened his mouth in surprise, and the raw materials fell from his hands. But Naruto managed to catch him. Furusako breathed a sigh of relief. 
saved the time of both. Naruto asked Furusako why he was surprised, and he answered him. Furusako, in front of you stands the chief warden of the alchemy temple himself. The most powerful alchemist in the world. Naruto was surprised, but not a man called them and said that he would be there soon. Naruto entered the world of speed and saw creatures that the speed god did not tell him about. They looked like speed demons. But they were larger. Their horns looked like rams, but several times more massive. At extreme speed, she flew into Naruto. Naruto created clones. And they began to run around this creature, striking. But the demon somehow found out where Naruto was and grabbed him. But Naruto escaped and put lightning Rasengan into the demon. This technique was studied by his clones in Konoha, like many others. The demon fell dead. Naruto left his clones here. And went into the subconscious. There he left the clones. He said that he would go into alchemy and asked what kind of creatures were in the world. God was surprised and said. At extreme speed, she flew into Naruto. Naruto created clones. And they began to run around this creature, striking. But the demon somehow found out where Naruto was and grabbed him. But Naruto escaped and put lightning Rasengan into the demon. Kanoha like many others. The demon fell dead. Naruto left his clones here. And went into the subconscious. There he left the clones. God was surprised and said. At extreme speed, she flew into Naruto. Naruto created clones. And they began to run around this creature, striking. But the demon somehow found out where Naruto was and grabbed him. But Naruto escaped and put lightning Rasengan into the demon. Kanoha like many others. The demon fell dead. Naruto left his clones here. And went into the subconscious. There he left the clones. God was surprised and said. He said that he would go into alchemy and asked what kind of creatures were in the world. God was surprised and said. He said that he would go into alchemy and asked what kind of creatures were in the world. God was surprised and said. Part 14. These are the inferior henchmen of my main enemy. As I understand it, you were not ready and almost lost. Their strength and speed are hundreds of times less, if not thousands, compared to their master. God agreed. Naruto's jaw dropped from this. Naruto decided to call them speed devils. And he began to prepare in advance for a meeting with stronger opponents. Until he reaches a new level of speed. And Naruto decides to run to the libraries of all the great villages after he and his friend go to a new place to brew the potion. They were taken to a luxurious hall with many tables. On which were a bunch of raw materials and new boilers. Naruto was surprised, but said that he had to hurry and he would come no earlier than in a week. And he went out into the street. And immediately switched to the maximum speed level allowed for him. In his apartment he read a stack of books. Of all of them, only two were useful to him. In one, he read that there is a call for speedy animals, the most powerful of them are the mythical creatures dragons. And in the other, it was written about the gods of speed and the worlds of speed, and how to get into one world or another. Naruto decided to first find the habitat of dragons. Mount Fuji. For this, he picked up another stack of books and read that this mountain is located near the village of Uzumaki, but is closed to prying eyes. Naruto packed up and set off on the road after two days, he was at the foot of the Jamalungma mountain, which means that there must be a mountain somewhere nearby Fujiyama. A few days later he found her. It turned out that the sources lied and from the village of Uzumaki to Mount Fuji three days of sailing at the speed of Naruto. The path to the top was not easy. After three hours of climbing, Naruto thought of using the chakra for its intended purpose and running up the mountain. Part 15 Luxurious Palaces At the farthest end of the City of Dragons there was a huge waterfall. Which divided the city into two parts. Naruto went to the largest palace. As it turned out there was an elder, he introduced himself. Hello boy, I am the elder of this city, one of the oldest dragons named Wachua. I am glad that at least someone found out about us. I will gladly teach you. After all, you are the first who came to us since the time of Cupid. We need a dragon sage. The dragon finished. And at this time, Cupid said to Naruto. 
That Naruto was dumb and where he even climbed would be better if he was sitting brewing potions. Naruto laughed. The dragon looked at him in bewilderment. Naruto explained everything to him. And the dragon was shocked. The current was so strong that Naruto couldn't even swim five meters against it. But every day, he slowly moved forward. The dragons also taught him to convert natural energy into speed, which allowed Naruto to increase his speed level. He also learned that time goes differently on the mountain due to the fact that almost all residents have a very high speed, then one day on the mountain is equal to one hour in the real world Naruto ran out of food after the park days, so he had to eat what dragons eat, and these are birds and fish. Part 16 The training was hellish. Naruto was forced to jump from the top of a waterfall into the sea and then climb back up. And so on in a circle for days on end. The dragon said that it helps to find unity with the dragon spirit. After two weeks of this torment, Naruto completed this task in less than five minutes. But he did not even know what was waiting for him next. The dragon told Naruto that he needed to sit at the bottom of the sea for a week. Naruto fainted. Then the dragon explained how to do it. Due to the fact that Kurama could control his chakra well, he could extract any atoms from space and deliver Jinchuoik 7 to the body. But this ability was limited by Jinchuriki, so Kurama could only deliver atoms of one kind. In Naruto's case, it's oxygen. According to this scheme, Naruto had to sit in the cover of Kurama for a whole week. Naruto did this. Arriving on the mountain, he heard from the dragon that he had to jump into the mouth of the volcano not far away. And with the help of Kurama's chakra, it was easy to do. And the volcano had to be found on his own. After many hours of searching, he found it. It was a huge volcano. It seemed to Naruto that he was three times larger than Mount Fuji. Having gathered on the volcano in less than thirteen minutes, Naruto began to cover himself with Kurama's chakra. When he finally covered himself, he jumped into the vent. The flight did not last long. After that, Naruto plunged into the lava. Naruto got his feet to the bottom of the volcano. After standing for another ten minutes, he began to emerge, and then climb up. At the top, he saw a dragon who told him to do the same as with the bottom of the ocean. Naruto jumped off without further ado. But he heard that he had to sit out for a week and a half. After this time, he got up and came to the mountain. Where the dragon was waiting for him. He said that a special ceremony needed to be performed. They went to the temple. Everything was already ready there. Naruto was told to close his eyes. Naruto heard growling strange whispers and mutterings. And when an unfamiliar voice told him to open his eyes, he obediently opened them and saw. Part 17 Four dragons. One was as if made of water. The other was as if made of fire, and the third consisted of massive pieces of earth and the fourth was wind currents that took the form of a dragon. They were all colossal in size. But despite their appearance, the voice that prompted him to open his eyes was calm and soothing. The dragons decided to introduce themselves. The water dragon said his name was Suso. The fire dragon said his name. Kazan. The earth dragon said that his name is Jizen. The air dragon said that his name is Hariken. And with the help of them, Naruto will learn the dragon mode. They explain to him that it is not only natural energy that is used here, as in other modes. But natural energy is natural with elemental. They told that this energy appeared as a result of a great battle between the first dragon and the first phoenix. They were very powerful beings. Corners of the universe, but only a few can possess this energy. And since he is here, they are obliged to teach him how to possess it, but they were not going to give guarantees. Naruto was shocked because he thought that natural energy was the strongest. Naruto decided to start training right away, but the right took too much strength from him and he collapsed to the ground. The dragons carefully carried him to a giant house next to him was a smaller house. Naruto woke up on a spacious bed. But when he looked down he saw that it was twenty meters to the floor. And his bed is just a pillow. Naruto, jumping down, saw dragons, but they were fifty times smaller. They said that they took such a form to make Naruto more comfortable. They also said that it was time to start training. Naruto got ready on the hariken and they quickly flew out of the house. Having flown out of the house, 
they gained a truly unprecedented speed Naruto even fell from the hurricane due to the fact that he was blown away by giant currents of wind. But he was picked up by Jizen in an instant. And an earthen wall formed in front of Naruto's face. When he was told that they had arrived. Return to the city of alchemy dragon life theory. He developed very quickly. And he knew how to prepare high order healing potions, which is very good. Also a medium vision potion. And a lower underwater breathing potion. But Naruto could breathe underwater even without potions thanks to the training of the sage dragon. Talked about his life in the palace. Naruto was surprised to listen to unusual stories. Once a strange grandfather came to Furesa and hit him on the ridge, saying that his healing potion sucks and after he drank it he had constipation. Naruto laughed for a long time at such ridiculous stories. But suddenly Fura suggested that Naruto demonstrate what he had learned he. Naruto gladly agreed. They went to the palace. Inside Furas took out a golden cauldron and told Naruto to act. Naruto was in an awkward position because he had forgotten about alchemy and thought that he would now show his new techniques, but there was nothing to do. Naruto told him to bring all the raw materials that were. They carried and carried many boxes with a variety of herbs, berries, branches. Naruto looked at all this and began to take those herbs that Kurama had told him about. He took a branch of the fire tree, a leaf from a lyre bush, grass from a glade of torment, berries from a water tree, grass from a Hagoromo cave and finally the last ingredient was the rainbow fruit of the Furatio tree. Throwing all this into the cauldron, he took off sharply. Kurama told Naruto to restrain him with the help of the dragon's chi which he was taught. He began to hold the cauldron. From the dragon's chi, the cauldron began to heat up. It created a unique chakra. Kurama called it the alchemist dragon chakra he saw it several thousand years ago. When an old man came to him for herbs and showed this kind of chakra. And finally, the process of alchemy is ready. Furesa did not understand what kind of potion it was. Therefore, he called the head of this hall. It was the wise old man Tang. The old man came and fell down in surprise. Later, he said that Naruto had prepared a dragon metamorphosis potion. The rarest potion in the world. After all, only dragon summoners or dragons can prepare it. Furesa decided to try and became a small dragon. Tan and Naruto began to laugh. Because the effect of the potion lasts eight days. Naruto stayed all these eight days and went back to training. He gave a sign to the dragon. And here he was again in the place of his torment. The rainbow dragon, Suso, Jizen, Kazan and Hariken were already waiting for him. They asked him to close his eyes. And when he opened them in front of him, there were tons of books. Now Naruto will study the theoretical part of his training. Part 19. Dragon Chi. He saw the inscription, History of the Life of the Draconigo. This seemed interesting to him. Having studied the article in front of the text, he began to read. There were two chapters in the book. One about the appearance of dragons, and the other about their life. Once upon a time, a great light dragon began a battle with a dark one. And this battle gave birth to dragons. The most powerful of them were the wind dragon, the earth dragon, the fire dragon, the water dragon and the rainbow dragon. Dragons that were weaker than them, they trained dragon chakra. They built a city on top of the great mountain. After that, they retired to another world. Where any creatures can go if the elder dragon sends them there. Their life is like that of people. Of course, there are changes in connection with a different structure of the body. But they are not significant. They have hospitals, shops, etc. At this pace, Naruto read a couple more books and came across the theory of Dragon Chi. It said that Dragon Chi is a great power bestowed by a light dragon. Only the strongest could learn this power. And then Naruto did not understand anything. Kazan saw that Naruto was reading this book and flew up to him, asking if he understood. Naruto shook his head negatively. Then Kazan called the Rainbow Dragon and he began to explain. To possess the dragon's chi, you need to merge with the dragon's chakra. Naruto looked at him in bewilderment. He awkwardly said that for this you need to go to the end of the temple where there is a source of a light dragon and meditate there for a long time and hard. Naruto went and sat down there. He sat in this source for a week without water and food. 
Then a month and on the second, when he opened his eyes due to the fact that someone called him, he saw a dark room. Far away from him, he saw a very bright spot. And suddenly turning his head, he saw. Part 20. New Planets. He saw a large dragon that emits light. He told Naruto that he would teach him the chi of the dragon, but first he wants to show him something that he had never seen. In an instant, they were in outer space. The dragon said that he would show him worlds with other magical creatures so that Naruto would feel the power of the cosmos that was created great being. The first stop was the red planet. Dragon and Naruto descended on it. They saw great volcanoes that are not on earth. It seemed that their mouth could contain a whole country of fire, there were many such volcanoes. Some were extinct, some lava poured in tons. They flew to the highest and largest volcano. Having descended into its mouth at the bottom, they saw a large city of igneous rocks. They flew, as Naruto thought, into the most ordinary building. And here in the center there was a giant salamander. She was acid bright in color, her body was scarred. Seeing from a sour dragon, she introduced herself. Salamadra was called Agni in honor of the fire god of their culture. He told them a story about their people. Each tribe chose a volcano for itself. Most of the salamanders settled in extinct volcanoes, and no one wanted to go to the largest one because of the too hot lava through which not a single salamander could pass. And so Father Agni found a way to get into the mouth of the volcano. As it turned out, for some reason, not the entire volcano was filled with a rampart, but only five to six meters at its top. Agni's father discovered a large abandoned city and, choosing the largest building, made the residence of the tribe there. Then there were only fifty people in the tribe, and Agni moved them all. And the population began to grow rapidly due to the effect of magical lava on top of the salamanders became stronger than they were. And now, after five years, the population of the tribe was one thousand salamanders, new houses were built, but the Hydra salamander tribe wanted more power and power and began to capture other tribes. Then their people split into two parts, those who were against the Hydra, and for the Hydra. Father Agni organized an army and went to other volcanoes with ambassadors to look for allies. Half a year later, all the volcanoes decided on their side and a great war began, many salamanders died then. Side, then another war lasted a very long time every week there were battles and it seemed that no one could stop it. And a strange cloud descended on their world and at the same hour the Hydra died and the war ended. Having given wise advice on the development of their people, she left them. Everyone began to live in peace. And now there are no tribes, there is only one friendly people with a capital volcano named after this cloud and the father of Agni. Salandra wanted to show with this story that war is an abyss of peoples, and patience is their salvation, because if they hadn't endured until the arrival of the great cloud, who knows to happen. A monument to this hero and Agni's father stands in every volcano. Agni told Naruto to master the chi of the dragon, one of them is the stormy power of fire and he will teach Naruto this power. But mostly they were all red shades. Agni said that salamanders of other shades are a very rare thing. They bathed in hot springs only the place of water was lava, but Naruto was no stranger. Even on such a hot planet, Naruto saw forests only not green, but gray. Two weeks later they reached some abyss, the salamander jumped there and Naruto followed him. They fell for a long time, but their legs and paws touched the surface. A bright light illuminated the pit and Naruto saw. Part 21. Workouts. Naruto saw a large room and three large statues at the end of it, there was a passage between the statues. Agni explained that these were the statues of the former sages of the salamanders. Thanks to them, the souls of the sages can find their way here and teach the most powerful salamanders. He said that they would train him because they have more experience and in the afterlife they became even stronger and more experienced. Agni brought Naruto to the entrance to some kind of help between the statues and told him to go in there. Naruto entered there, the door closed behind him. And at that moment he called Kurama. Naruto went into his subconscious Kurama said that the old one flew to Konoha and the city of alchemists and found out that everything was going smoothly in Konoha, and his friend the alchemist was already almost the strongest in the palace and Naruto's pet was developing very quickly. Naruto immediately realized that the old this is the god of speed. Kurama also said to Naruto, 
that it is necessary to create new clones for alchemy training, soon top-level cauldrons and raw materials of different levels will be already here. Kurama said that when Naruto finishes his training with fire to dispel all the clones except the most necessary ones. Naruto came out of the subconscious and saw three giant salamanders in front of him, they told him that training would begin from that moment. The first thing Naruto would teach is to create from natural energy fire techniques. Such techniques are thousands of times more powerful than ordinary ones, but for this you need to harden your body, so Naruto was doused with an inexhaustible stream of fire at once three salamanders for a long time. After Naruto endured this, he began to notice that all salamanders are different. One is acid red another maroon third with orange hues. Now it was time to ignite the natural energy. Part 22 Naruto you are the future of this world evil is moving you will understand when you are ready. Naruto immediately found himself in front of the cage after these words. The fox immediately said that this fool Naruto forgot to give a name to his pet Naruto waved it off, saying that he would give it later. Naruto dispelled all his clones and received incredible fatigue and a very large influx of strength from his last strength created many clones and distributed them and left the subconscious and went to bed. He woke up in front of the statues, he jumped out of the pit. And he ran the path that made up a week in one hour, and here he is in front of Agni and he said that he would wait for Naruto and if needed if there is help, then their people will help him. He also said that he would like Naruto to stay longer, but the dragon said that they did not have time and they needed to advance further. After these words, the dragon entered. Together with Naruto, they thanked the salamanders for their reception and training and flew to the next planet. The dragon said about the next planet that it would be a practice for fighting because there are many hostile creatures. They landed on this planet. It was a dense jungle, the dragon said that something was wrong here. Decided to run the planet with his new speed, it was 18 hours. When Naruto told the dragon that there was not a single creature on this planet, the dragon got angry and said to fly faster to the next planet. Naruto immediately realized that someone had been here and he guessed that this was his rival. They did not fly for long and then Naruto saw the blue planet. They descended on it, it was all out of the water. Naruto did what he was taught and could already breathe underwater, they descended. They discovered huge cities under the water. They were all connected in some way. After flying through several cities, they stopped above a very huge city. And they entered the majestic palace. There were shark people. A huge white shark sat on a golden throne with a trident. She stood up and approached the dragon with a smile. Having said pleasant words, she turned to Naruto. Shark man, Naruto, as I understand it. I am Kidra seventh sage of the great shark people. They went to one of the rooms where there was a large table with seafood on it. At the table, Kidra told the story of his people. There were only eight wise men, but the penultimate sage denigrated their people, so they put an end to him. He started a war with the octopuses, and when he could not restrain them, he turned to demonic forces. He sent many hundreds of demons and helped defeat the octopuses, but in return they began to try the people of sharks and for the fact that the sage deceived them. They agreed to take all his strength from him in exchange for victory, but he did not give it back. A long war with the demons began. Which he also gave to Kidra. He grew up and began to command the army. Thanks to him, the fishmen began to win victory after victory. But the sage died and Kidra's father remained in charge of all the people. There were more demons and demons equal in strength to the sages began to appear and there were seven of them. Part 23 Water Workouts Naruto saw a large temple. In front of him was a large statue of a human-like shark with a trident in his hands, sitting in a chariot with sea horses that were not being carried. They entered it in the center there was a statue of the same shark. And around it were six statues of sharks. Kidra said that the shark in the center is the god of water Kidra, and the sharks around are wise men. After these words, Kidra hit the floor with a trident and he began to sink down. They descended into a vast room with various mannequins and weapons. There was also a training ground here. Kidra drew up a training plan. First we learn how to make water from natural energy, then we improve it to the maximum, then we learn techniques, we improve their strength and duration, then we learn how to control water and mix it with fire, and then the fighting style. So Naruto's training began. Kidra went to the stand with the tools behind him there was a stove, he pressed it and all the water began to be absorbed. 
The light turned on. Kidra said that it was like fire here. Naruto began to repeat his actions. He began to extract water from natural energy and replace natural energy with water, natural energy consists of all elements. Less attempts were needed due to his experience. He increased the density to a maximum, which replaced all natural energy with water in a couple of tens of thousands of attempts. Then he began to study techniques. Can be improved. So first he will teach Naruto the water Buddha from the water, an improved version of the water dragon. Naruto began to try. After 100 attempts, he got a Buddha meter high. But he was like a dragon not controlled. Now he had to learn how to control the flow of Buddha's water. To do this, as Hydra showed, you need to merge with him, that is, he is in him. Naruto entered Buddha and it became easier for him to control natural water. Started attacking. Kidra also grew 10,000 arms and began to defend himself. In an instant, 5,000 hands turned into a big sword, and the other 5,000 into the shield of Buddha Kidra. Kidra launched an attack. Naruto made five dragons out of his 10,000 and began to defend with three and attack with two. Kidra defended himself with a shield. They fought for a long time and in the end there was a draw. Kidra noted Naruto's creativity and high skill. At the same fast pace, he studied a couple of dozen more techniques. Now he had to study the fighting style. Naruto was given a spear, but Kidra said no matter which one the weapon will be. The style consisted of circular movements and stabbing. The weapon was wrapped in natural water. This way it was possible to increase its length or sharpness or shape. In the future, this style can be used without a weapon, it can be made from water, but for simplicity, at first like this. Naruto learned hundreds of lessons. Finally, he will learn it. The most difficult thing has come. Mixing the elements. If he learns to mix fire and water, two opposite elements, then he will be able to mix any elements. To mix fire and water, you need to make fire and water from natural energy in absolutely equal quantities. A little more, nothing will work out. This is the difficulty itself. Naruto tried at first, nothing came of it after long attempts, he already understood the essence a little. After hundreds of thousands of attempts, he was able to mix water and fire. Now it was necessary to increase volumes and strength. Hundreds of thousands more attempts and Naruto could make a fiery waterfall or a water one with snakes from fire, or vice versa. He could bring the fluidity of water to fire and vice versa. He learned to mix it with a fighting style. Agni and Hydra. From water and fire, he made the gods of water and fire. And at the same time he controlled them, he could combine them into one god. Then Naruto also learned to control water in the water itself. And so they went back to the great city of the shark people. Naruto with joy, and Kidra with pride. They also passed through the giant underwater volcano Suso. Naruto immediately remembered the blue dragon. Arriving at the abode of the sage, the dragon thanked Kidra and said that they had already lost a lot of time on one planet and they had to hurry very much. Kidra said that he would be waiting for them next time. He guarded the star system. And in it was the planet that Naruto needed. On the planet Naruto there are many animals with contracts, but they are weak compared to those that live on other planets Naruto was convinced of this. And now they descend to the planet. When they descended. Naruto saw. Part 24. Naruto saw a large stone city. It looked like a stone village city, but it was dozens of times bigger. Naruto thought about it and asked. Hey dragon. We are studying dragon chi. But when I was in the alchemist's palace, Kurama told me to prepare a dragon chi potion and I prepared it. So why are we studying it? The dragon laughed hard. And said. You dunce, you didn't cook it with dragon chi, but with dragon chakra. You are probably talking about a potion that turns people into dragons. Naruto was pleased with the answer and they went to the city. Just before entering, Naruto asked another question. Dragon, the multicolor dragon said that he was from another universe, and in the book it was written that he was created like everyone else. The dragon thought and answered. He just decided to give you more motivation so that you find out that he is from another universe, which means he is strong and such a rare dragon teaches you, in fact, he is like everyone else. The dragon paused for a moment and then spoke. 
Naruto, you're weird. I thought you'd ask me what my name is or who I am. Naruto immediately replied. I'll find out when you decide to tell me about it yourself. The dragon shook his head approvingly and off they went. Entering the city, they saw giant stone houses. There were wagons everywhere. When Naruto saw who walked around the city and traded, he almost laughed. They were humanoid rats. Naruto said that the barbarians on that planet were also rats. Passed through the narrow streets. And went out to a large square. It was all covered in lanterns. They were hung between the houses. They stood near the benches. There were a lot of rats on the square. We passed a couple of corridors and they found themselves in front of a big rat. She was no longer young, she had a long beard, a grey beard. She greeted the guests with joy. And she said that we need to tell the story of their people, and then go to train. Before that, Naruto asked the dragon. Why do we come without saying anything, but they all know. The dragon replied that he had told them in advance that they would. The rat began its story. My name is Jason. In honor of the god of the earth. Jizen said that he was the sixteenth sage. Therefore, the story that he will tell passed thousands of years ago even with the second sage. The rats have already united in cities and began to create intercity unions. Then the states. What we never dreamed of in return, he would take our soul and turn us into goblin-like ones. The elder refused. But other cities could not resist. And the most insidious rat gave the soul of his children and his own and became incredibly strong for that time. Would have easily won this war. There were fewer cities that refused. And the attacks of green rats fell upon them, they became blunt, but stronger than an ordinary rat. Their attacks were beaten off with varying success. She rarely attacked, but very successfully when there were sixteen cities left and the city two sages attacked. It came a great cloud. And exiled all the mutants to a distant planet. And helped rebuild the cities and left. Now his statues are everywhere. With this story, Jizen wanted to show Naruto that you need to have a will. After all, if the sage didn't have it now, they wouldn't have met and who knows who would have taught Naruto. Naruto said that they ran in front of these for another and there were these goblin rats and he also killed this 70 meter one. Jishin laughed. And Naruto realized that all the planets, even those where he tests his skills, were specially selected. They went to eat. From clay. We walked through the mountains. Even passed through a large lake and swam in it. Naruto liked to travel with the sages, they told him a lot of things. Part 25 New Part 25 They entered a small temple. Inside, it was 100 times larger. Naruto was surprised. Inside, like everyone else, there were statues of sages. They went into another room, it was a gigantic training ground three times larger than that of sharks. Jason said that the training plan was normal. Jason explained how to make earth energy from natural energy. Naruto then immediately broke into training that he did it faster than usual, now he had to learn the techniques, Naruto started the studies from a large barrier, Jason said that this is the easiest technique to master, after a couple of thousand attempts, Naruto got a wall of 20 meters, he stopped at this and began to study technician. He learned a couple of dozen techniques and, having understood the essence, he stopped. Now Naruto had to learn how to pour natural energy into the earth, replace it with the energy of the earth, and thus he would be able to completely control the earth. The rat said that these temples were built by the cloud itself and time stands still here, and the dragon is in such a hurry because he wants to rest. Nobody disturbed him for many years and he was used to calmness. Elements, including air in the future. Jason praised Naruto for his success. They set off. Naruto thought it was strange that they could not stay to visit because the dragon wants to rest. Jason felt that Naruto was dissatisfied with the answer and explained to him that moving between planets requires a lot of strength, and even if they stay with everyone, the dragon will not have time to recover. Naruto was pleased with the answer. All the same, he did not think, he thought that since the dragon flies through space, it means that these are easy for him. But Naruto will then understand why the dragon was in such a hurry. Part 25 And they saw a gigantic city there. The dragon, along with Naruto, flew to that cloud. Once on it, they saw a huge city. The houses were very high. 
The Light Dragon told Naruto that dragons live on this planet. Naruto was very surprised because he thought that there was a dragon only on Fujiyama and seven strong dragons. The Light Dragon added that dragons live in many places and the more natural energy, the stronger they are. There are dragons of medium strength on the planet Naruto. But windy dragons live on this planet and they are descendants of Hariken. When she saw the light dragon, she immediately opened the entrance. And they were met by a pleasant breeze. They walked around the city and talked and Naruto was surprised at his beauty. The light dragon and Naruto became close during all this travel and Naruto understood that this was the last planet and they would not see each other soon. And here they are in front of the entrance to the main building. The dragon followed Naruto. The wisest and oldest dragon lived on the last floor. The old dragon said that there would be no history because he learned everything he needed to know. And we must immediately get down to business. He introduced himself. His name was Hiroshine. Naruto remembered the fourth Hokage technique. The old dragon went with Naruto. They descended to the ground, and the dragon summoned a large tornado. They came out of it in front of them turned out to be a large creator made in the Japanese style. They entered it. Naruto's training proceeded as usual. He learned how to replace natural energy with the natural element of air. He studied techniques. With great difficulty, he studied the mixing of all four elements. Light dragon, I have a parting gift for you. And they found themselves in a bright room, it seemed endless. Not far from them was a small house. The dragon said. Light dragon, Naruto, this space is my best technique, time is left in it no matter how much time you spend here in the real world, it will not pass. You can do as much as you want here and I will help myself with anything in this. Naruto asked the dragon for a huge a list of everything. It was 50 meters long. The dragon brought everything. Naruto studied for so long that it seemed to him that 700 years had passed. The dragon helped him. Naruto mastered all the dragon chi techniques, they were taught by the dragon. It seemed to the dragon that in the whole universe there is no creature that possesses the chi of the dragon and the natural elements better than him. The dragon also taught Naruto the dragon sage mode. Naruto hardly changed, which meant his very high skills. To make such potions as Furusako learning about this, he burst into tears like a little girl. He read all the books that the dragon brought him. There were several thousand, if not tens of thousands. Naruto learned Fuenjutsu and Taijutsu. In Fuenjutsu, he could create seals of such power that they could absorb star systems and destroy them. And in Fuenjutsu with the help of the dragon who told him that in addition to eight gates there are fifteen gates. But they can only be activated in dragon sage mode. Naruto was able to open all fifteen without mortal danger. But starting from twelve gates, he spent a lot of energy and after the application, he had to recover, but he fixed this problem, so only the fourteenth and fifteenth gates were for energy costs. And now the time has come to say goodbye. Naruto hugged the dragon tightly. The dragon said, there were several thousand, if not tens of thousands of them. Naruto learned Fuenjutsu and Taijutsu. In Fuenjutsu, he could create seals of such power that they could absorb star systems and destroy them. Gates. But they can only be activated in Dragon Sage mode. Naruto was able to open all fifteen without mortal danger. But starting from gate twelve, he spent a lot of energy and after applying he had to recover, but he fixed this problem, so only fourteen and fifteen the gate was for energy consumption. And now the time has come to say goodbye. Naruto tightly hugged the dragon. The dragon said, there were several thousand, if not tens of thousands of them. Naruto learned Fuenjutsu and Taijutsu. In Fuenjutsu, he could create seals of such power that they could absorb star systems and destroy them. Gates. But they can only be activated in Dragon Sage mode. Naruto was able to open all fifteen without mortal danger. But starting from gate twelve, he spent a lot of energy and after applying he had to recover, but he fixed this problem, so only fourteen and fifteen the gate was for energy consumption. And now the time has come to say goodbye. Naruto tightly hugged the dragon. The dragon said that that in addition to eight gates there are fifteen gates. But they can only be activated in dragon sage mode. Naruto was able to open all fifteen without mortal danger. But starting from twelve gates, he spent a lot of energy and after applying he had to recover, but he fixed this problem, 
therefore, only 14 and 15 gates were for energy costs. And now the time has come to say goodbye. Naruto tightly hugged the dragon. The dragon said that that in addition to 8 gates there are 15 gates. But they can only be activated in dragon sage mode. Naruto was able to open all 15 without mortal danger. But starting from 12 gates, he spent a lot of energy and after applying he had to recover, but he fixed this problem, therefore, only 14 and 15 gates were for energy costs. And now the time has come to say goodbye. Naruto tightly hugged the dragon. The dragon said. Light dragon, Naruto, although you think that you are very strong, you are still too weak for your main enemy, and you also have only 3 to 4 months in Kanoha, and then you have to go to another continent to look for someone who will show you something that you could not even imagine, and by the way, Lado. Naruto uttered. Naruto, by my Lado. The dragon let out a mean tear, like Naruto himself. Naruto entered the subconscious. And said. Naruto, well, it's time for the fox to say goodbye, promise that you will visit at least once in a thousand years. After these words, Naruto removed the seal from the fox. And opened a portal to his world. Hagoromo appeared in front of them. He was at a loss who could remove her seal, but when he saw Naruto, he immediately understood. Tailed. Naruto exchanged glances with Hagoromo. Hagoromo said that he would still come and disappeared. The fox talked to Naruto and Amura. In this conversation, Naruto learned that he had spent 300 years traveling. And another 100 years in a room with light dragons, but on only three years have passed on Naruto's planet. Also, that Cupid still managed to delay another eight years before the main battle. Naruto also suggested to Kurama that he would send all the tailed ones to him. The tailed one agreed. In the end, all three began to cry like girls. It seemed that the water level rose. And that moment came. Kurama entered the portal and looked at the Cupids with Naruto, they were crying. Kurama waved to them and entered the portal. Naruto then fell to the floor holding his eyes. After Naruto lowered his hands, Cupid saw. His eyes. They were golden. In both eyes there was a spiral in the center of the eye was a symbol similar to yin and yang. There were double tomoi on the spiral. There were about twelve of them. Cupid was very surprised and said. This is a golden eye. Naruto did not understand what it is. Cupid explained that there are many eyes. But they all came from golden. Rinnegan also has many eyes stronger than all of them, but the most stylish are golden ones. Only the creator himself possessed them. Cupid was glad that he was sealed in Naruto. Naruto's strength increased. Cupid said how to hide them and Naruto had normal eyes. Part 26 Naruto saw the gate of a painfully familiar village. A village hidden in the foliage. Naruto remembered many moments. How he went to the academy. How he became the ANBU. How he met Shirsue, Itachi and Kakashi, how he met Mei Uchiha. How he trained the team. How he trained. Naruto remembered how he had grown from a weak genin to ANBU, and then to a weak Kage. Now Naruto understood that there was no stronger him on the continent. Naruto went through security. Name for your pet. Madara Naruto's name seemed symbolic. Naruto entered the house. The kitchen in the corridor and the restroom were clean, but his room was very dirty. Naruto hears the door open. And he sees his pet only he has grown ten times since their last meeting. Madara immediately ran to Naruto. And said that he did not touch his room. Naruto suggested Motor take a walk. Naruto asked him what was happening in Kanoha, but Motor did not know anything. He said that Itachi, Mei, Kakashi and Shirsue were walking with him. Shikamaru and Chuji also came every half a year. Motor also said that Naruto changed a lot and grew up if it were not for the blue hair and his smell, he would not have recognized him. Motor also asked where Naruto was. Naruto walked along the streets of Kanoha and told Motor everything that had happened to him and that Kurama had left him and he was not here for long, but he would take Madora on his next trip. Motor was surprised by everything and was glad that he would not be alone. Naruto left around the corner and almost collided with a pink-haired Kunoichi. She apologized and asked which village Naruto was from. Naruto replied that from Kanoha. 
the pink-haired Kunoichi said that she had been living here for 16 years and had not seen anyone like Naruto. Pakun, Naruto where have you been all these three years? Naruto replied. Naruto, I'll tell you later. When Kakashi meets. I understand he's already running here. Pakun nodded his head. Then he saw Kakashi. After 30 seconds, Kakashi was next to Naruto and hugged him tightly. Kakashi told Naruto. Kakashi, Naruto, how did you grow up, you are already 16 years old. Naruto laughed and said. Naruto, Kakashi, let's go to the head of the first Hokage and you tell me what happened in Konoha for all these years, and I'll tell you with the Pakun where I was. Kakashi picked up Pakuna and used Shunshin and Naruto used Shunshin as well. They sat back and Kakashi began the story. Kakashi, when you disappeared for the first week, they thought that you were resting after assignments. But when the Chunin exams began, and you were not there, everyone realized that something was wrong here. But they did not make it much public during the Chunin exams. Asuma Saratobi also took your team. Eh, I completely forgot to tell you about the teams, that issue is considered so far the strongest in the last five years. Your team included you know who. The Kurinai team included Hinata, Kiba and Shino. Hinata is the princess of the Hyuga clan. Kiba from the Inazuka clan, therefore, walks with a dog all the time. And Shino from the Aburame clan, therefore, wears dark glasses all the time. Naruto said. Naruto, I saw them, and I also saw Sakura. Kakashi continued. Kakashi, my team has Sakura Haruno, Sasuke Uchiha and Tenma Uchiha. Well, you know two Uchihas, one Itachi's brother, the other Shirsue. The Might Guy team also includes Rock Lee 1010 and Miji Hyuga. Rock Lee went completely into Might Guy, 1010 is a gunsmith, and Niji Hyuga is a genius of his clan. So, during the exam, there was an attack on Kanoha, the losses were small. The village of Grass attacked, but it was easily defeated and she became a vassal of Kanoha. Also, after the attack on Kanoha, Uzumaki began to disappear all over the world. We they thought that you were the first to be kidnapped as the most famous. Of the Uzumaki, only Kushina and Naruko did not disappear. Then Mei Uchiha and Jiraiya went to look for Tsunade. Since then, she has been living in Kanoha with Jiraiya. Then everything was calm for two and a half years, and recently, the one-tailed Jinchiriki lost his biju. Also, Kakashi, Shirsue and Itachi went to his apartment every day in the hope that Uzumaki would be there. The Hokage stopped searching after the first six months. Naruto sighed and said. Naruto, I knew he never believed in me. Kakashi asked Naruto. Kakashi, you know who your parents are. Naruto replied. Naruto, Kurama told me a long time ago, but I don't blame Kushina, she doesn't know and she was told that I died. Yes, when I was at the cemetery I was looking for my grave. Parents by last name it was pretty stupid, but still there was hope I saw the grave nor you to Namikaze. We changed the letters in the name and surname. But you became my family, but one member recently took a bite. Kurama returned home. Kakashi looked at Naruto and said. Kakashi, you'll see him again. Naruto sighed and said it was his turn he started his story from Alchemy City and ended with a meeting with Kakashi. Naruto also showed Kakashi his eye. Kakashi was very surprised. After that, Itachi and Shirsue came out of the bushes. They said that Mei would be with them, but she had a mission. Naruto asked. Naruto, have you seen my eye? And been here since the beginning of my story? They nodded their heads. Naruto stood up and said. Naruto, we need to go to the Hokage. Everyone asked why. Naruto said enthusiastically. Naruto, I promised Kurama that I would release all the bijou and send them to him, but some upstarts appeared here. And we will go to the Hokage to put before him the fact that the bijou will not be in this world and started hunting for them. Everyone immediately cheered up and went to the Hokage. On the way, they noticed that Naruto had some kind of symbol on his hand. They asked what it was. Naruto turned his palm and they saw a seal with many symbols, they were very small. It seemed that Naruto was from the Aburame clan and these were his bugs. Naruto replied that it was the seal of the agreement. Kakashi replied that they looked simpler. 
Naruto replied that this seal could stroke at least 1,000 Konoha. Everyone was surprised. And they said that Naruto became much stronger in Fuin. Naruto replied that not only in him. A few minutes later, they reached the Hokage's office. Seeing Naruto Minato's jaw drop to the floor. After which Naruto said. It will be bad for him on the way. After these words from Naruto, Minato said. Part 27 Minato said. Minato, Naruto stop stop stop. The first question is where were you for three years? The second question is how did you find out about Akatsuki and the third question is what did you do for these three years? Naruto replied. Naruto, walked around the world, learned from Kakashi about Akatsuki, and what I did, I trained. Minato said to Naruto. Minato, you do understand that Akatsuki has already taken out the one-tailed one, I think if you climb on them, then the world will lose the strongest-tailed one. Naruto replied angrily. Naruto, old man, I have become much stronger. There is no stronger me in this world, and these upstarts cannot even defeat my clone. Minato replied. Minato, okay, Naruto, as soon as the news about Akatsuki comes, I will send you to them, but along with some team and Kakashi with Shirsue and Itachi. Naruto said well. And after these words, the door opened and Shikamaru entered. He said that Akatsuki members were seen at the nearest exchange point. Minato ordered that the Kakashi and Asuma team gather and Naruto, Itachi and Shirsue along with them. After 20 minutes everyone was at the gate to Kanoha. Shikamaru and Chuji happily chatted with Naruto. They said that they learned a lot and became stronger. Then Naruto thanked Asuma for taking the team and making Shinobi out of the youths. Kakashi came next, as always the last one. Said that 2 kilometers to the northwest, then 3 kilometers to the west and 500 meters to the east. Naruto put seals on everyone in one second and after five seconds everyone was right in front of the Akatsuki members. The man with the scythe said. Akatsuki member, Kakazu, what the hell are these stumps in front of us? He was answered. Kakazu, Zidane, are you stupid? How should I know? Haydn began to threaten Kakazu, but he didn't care. Naruto looked at them and told everyone. Naruto, Move back 20 meters, I'll show you how real shinobi fight, but I promise that I'm at half strength. Sasuke screamed. Sasuke, hey, this is Haydn and Kakazu S-class Nukunins and so that you can defeat them alone, don't be ridiculous. Kakashi told everyone to move away if they would help Naruto. Naruto looked at Kakashi with gratitude. And went to an undeniable duet. Naruto shouted X. Haydn. Naruto. How did the farmer start catching Jinchuriki? Did the animals escape? Haydn just shouted something and ran at Naruto. Kakazu decided to find out the strength of the enemy. Haydn ran up and delivered a chopping blow. Naruto easily deflected, after which a knee to the stomach. The blade with his fingers. Everyone stood in shock. Naruto used Haydn's confusion, took out a kunai and, having reduced the distance, chopped off his head. After that, he went to Kakazu. Kakazu immediately pulled out all four hearts and left one with him. Naruto smiled and made four clones without a seal Kakazu was surprised. Naruto ran to Kakazu. His clones made techniques much larger and stronger than Kakazu's hearts. Kakazu was confused because the hearts belonged to Shinobi with the rank of an elite jonin, and this guy completely suppresses them with clones. After five minutes, four hearts of Kakazu were destroyed. Naruto got behind Kakazu and said. Naruto, tell your boss that Naruto Uzumaki is following him. Naruto took Kakazu's heart out of his chest and threw it out with such force that it seemed to everyone that it had flown into space. Approaching the commands, Naruto heard curses, he looked at the floor and saw Haydn's head. He told him. Naruto, you are too weak, I didn't even use one tenth of my strength. I hope your boss will be stronger. Naturally, everyone else heard this. The Jonin clapped Naruto. Choji and Shikamaru were praising their former sensei, and Ino and Kakashi's team were in shock. Naruto decided not to use his speed and go with everyone, it would take about an hour. Naruto talked to Itachi, Kakashi and Shirsue everyone listened to their conversation, and Choji begged Asuma to go eat after returning. At the gates of Kanoha, they met Mei. 
Naruto greeted her. Mei ran up to him and hugged Naruto tightly. Part 28 Mei, Naruto, where have you been all these three years, I missed you. By your wild and cheerful disposition. By your yellow hair. By your blue eyes. Naruto smiled in a smile of sixty-four teeth. With a dumb face, he looked at Kakashi, then at Shursue and Itachi, looking at Shirku and Chuji, he smiled even more and winked at them. After all this, he said. Naruto, Mihei well, well, I've been there a lot where let's meet in the evening, I'll tell you everything. Mei nodded her head and Naruto ran to the bar to drink their favorite juice. Kakashi realized that Naruto was embarrassed, so he jerked off, and his face would be a nightmare for him. Going into the bar, Naruto saw Tsunade. He sat down next to her and said to the bartender. Naruto, as usual. The bartender recognized Naruto from somewhere and poured him some juice. Naruto saw Tsunade running his finger along the bar with a sad look. Naruto asked her what happened. She screamed furiously. Tsunade, what do you care, brat? Naruto said. Naruto, don't get angry, just curious. Tsunade calmed down and answered. Tsunade, the money for booze is over, and the salary is only a week later. Naruto thought about it and realized that by some miracle he had money left in his pocket, he took it out and counted it. It was enough for exactly a glass of juice. The bartender served Naruto juice. Naruto drank it all and thanked the bartender and said goodbye to Tsunada. Told him to follow. Tsunade, you're Naruto. Naruto nodded his head and left. He decided to go to the Hokage and ask for money for Haydn and Kakazu. A couple of minutes later he was already at the Hokage. He entered the office. The Hokage, Kushina and some blonde with two long pigtails were happily and animatedly talking. Naruto spoke loudly. Naruto, Hokage, there is one thing. The three of them looked at him and the blonde asked Minato. Blonde, Dad, is this the same Naruto Uzumaki? Minato just nodded his head and gestured for them to leave. Kushina and the girls left. Naruto said. Naruto, here's the deal. I ran out of money, but I need to eat, but I killed Kakazu and Haydn there, so I can have a couple of million ryo. Minato was surprised and said. Minato, I thought you came back so quickly because you lost. The blue-haired man smiled. Minato took out a suitcase and handed it to Naruto, saying that there were ten million ryo. Naruto happily thanked Minato and ran off to eat ramen. After a hearty meal, he went to his house and saw a clean room and Madora sitting on his bed. Sat next to. Thanked his friend for this cleaning. Naruto told him. Naruto, Madoru, if you don't want to go to Kurama with me after adventures on another continent, Amura-san will be with us. Madoru only happily wagged his tail. They talked for a long time. Naruto said that he would take him to another continent. After this conversation, Naruto did not notice how evening had come. Someone knocked on the door Naruto went to open it with Madoru. Opening the door, Naruto saw. Part 29 Naruto saw Mei Uchiha. Remembering their conversation at the gates of Kanoha, he smiled. Telling Motor to stay at home, he went outside. They walked through the streets of Kanoha. After an awkward silence, she spoke. Mei, Naruto, let me take you to my favorite place. Naruto agreed and they went. Their dialogue only developed when they arrived at Mei's place. It was a shop in front of a river. There was a forest on the other side of the river. In the morning, it was very cozy here. After enjoying the beautiful view, Naruto began his long story. Naruto, so after that I met you at the gate. Naruto said at the end of his story. Mei, I didn't even believe it at first. While we were here doing routine missions, you explored the universe. Naruto with a stupid smile stroked the top of his head and looked into Mei's face. Mei was even somehow scared. After a short stare, their faces began to get closer to each other. Mei, Naruto, I understand that I like you and I like you for a very long time, but I can't do it so quickly. Naruto smiled and said. Naruto, it's okay, I didn't even hope for this kiss. Mei looked guilty and said. Mei, Naruto, I'll probably go. 
Naruto offered to walk her home and she agreed. Standing at the entrance to the Uchiha quarter, Naruto said to Mei. Naruto, Mei, I still have a lot of training and alas, they will be very far from Kanoha. Therefore, I will fulfill the promise I made to my close friend. And I will hit the road. I will still be in Kanoha for a maximum of two months. Mei looked at Naruto and left. Naruto anointed her after her as the Uchiha turned around. Seeing this, she smiled. Two weeks have passed. Naruto, Madoru where is the toilet paper? Motor called out from the kitchen. Madoru, it's over, I'll have to hand it. Naruto yelled all over the house. Naruto, you impudent face, as soon as I get out you go to my carpet. Madoru laughed and shouted. Madoru, look behind the toilet, there should be a... After these words, Naruto did his very important things. He left the bathroom and said. Naruto, don't joke like that anymore. Madoru laughed and said kindly. Madoru, you'd better sit down and have breakfast, I've already prepared everything. Naruto sat down at the table and began to eat everything, while saying. Naruto, Madoru, those Akatsuki are the devils. I want to get all the bijou back and send them to Kurama as soon as possible, and I haven't heard a damn thing about them for two weeks. Madora replied. Madoru, go to the Hokage and ask about them. You better tell me what's up with the black-haired one. Naruto hesitated but replied. Naruto, walked a couple of times, nothing special. Madoru slyly looked at Naruto and said. Motor, don't be dark. It's obvious that she likes you too. Naruto replied shyly. Naruto, well, we kissed a couple of times and that's it. Madoru smiled contentedly. Naruto finished his meal and went to the Hokage. A couple of minutes later he was at the office. In the Hokage's office, Naruto asked. Naruto, Hokage, how long can you wait why don't you tell me about those fucking Akatsuki? The Hokage made an annoyed face. Standing up and going to the window, he answered. Minato, Naruto my dear, as soon as something is known about Akatsuki I will tell you right away. After these words, the secretary burst into the office with a frightened face and said. Secretary, Hokage-sama, letters have come from all villages. They say that Akatsuki stole their biju. They know the location of their base and they are asking for reinforcements. The Hokage fell. But told Naruto to pack his things. Naruto quickly packed his things and left the house. After walking two meters behind him was Minato. Naruto turned and Minato began to speak. Minato, by chance, during the Third World War, near one cave, I left Kunai near one cave. And now in this cave is the Akatsuki base, now I will transfer you there. After these words, Naruto was grabbed by the shoulder. Hearing only hyration, he found himself in front of a cave. Naruto looked around and saw. Part 30. Battle with Akatsuki and release of Bijou. And he saw shinobi from all the villages. They stood in front of a large cave. The entrance to it was closed by a hefty stone with a seal. Naruto saw a white-haired guy with dark skin approaching him. Approaching Naruto, he told him. Guy, finally, at least one of Kanoha. I'm Derui, what's your name? Naruto replied. Naruto, my name is Naruto Uzumaki. Derui chuckled and asked. Derui, Naruto, are you the only one from Kanoha? And why so long? Naruto replied. Naruto, as the letter arrived, so did it. Naruto looked towards Minato. There he saw a mini gathering of all the Kage. They were talking animatedly about something. Minato, sorry for being so late. The flying old man answered him. Anoki, a youngster who doesn't respect time at all. The rakage asked how many shinobi had arrived from each village. The kage answered in turn. May, 100 shinobi arrived from the fog village. Of these, 50 jonin and 25 anbu are all other chunin. Anoki, there are 75 people from stone village, 50 jonin and 25 anbu. Gara, 150 people arrived from the sand village. Of these, 70 jonin and 10 umbu are all other chunin. Hey, 100 people, 
50 Jonin and 50 Umbu arrived from Cloud Village. Minato, one elite Jonin has arrived from the Leaf Village. All the Kage fell. Hei began to scream. Hey, Minato, you're a fool. Your one can't match the strength of 425 shinobi. Minato replied calmly. Minato, heard two Akatsuki members were killed. Everyone nodded their heads and Minato continued. Minato, so this kid killed them. Their fight was sold for three minutes at most. Elite Jonin were watching him. All the Kage were surprised, but they didn't stop yelling at Minato. In the meantime, Naruto met the Mist Swordsman. His name was Chojuro. He began to speak. Chojuro, for me, this mission is more than just a mission. Because there is Kisame among the Akatsuki and I want to compare his strength with my own. Darui chuckled curiously and said. Darui, I'm here to save B. The two asked Naruto why he was here. Naruto replied. Naruto, I made a promise to a friend and I'm here to keep it. Chojuro said. Chojuro, we all have good goals, let's join forces and defeat them together. Everyone agreed. After the unanimity, Naruto said. Naruto, just don't get off me. Everyone laughed. And suddenly they heard a voice. Voice, shinobi ready in one minute we will start the attack. Everyone yelled. Chojuro took out his Hiramakariai sword. Darui also took out his sword, which looked like a large knife, a cleaver. Naruto opened the dual dragon blades and stood in a runner stance. Twenty seconds after their actions, a voice sounded. Voice, attack. Naruto ran. Darui and Chojuro went nuts. A second later, Naruto was at the rock. He said to Amura. Naruto, well, it's time to use this ability. Amura expressed his approval. Naruto accelerated in front of the stone and passed through it. There was a huge statue inside, and Akatsuki members stood on its fingers. He saw the bodies of the Jinchuriki lying in front of the statue and said. Naruto, oh you bastards. Taking their life is tantamount to death. The blonde asked. Blonde, why? Naruto replied. Naruto, because I'm a Jinchuriki too and I'll avenge them. The blonde laughed. His laugh was interrupted by the masked shinobi. Masked shinobi, Daidara-san, you're laughing so hard that I want to jump that finger upside down. Daidara replied. Daidara, Toby better shut up, otherwise I'll blow you to hell. Naruto turned on Dragon Sage mode and smiled. A second later, the blonde's head was on the floor. All the Akatsuki were stunned. The shark-like man took out his bandaged sword and yelled. Akala-like shinobi, Samahata, water trap. Fusion with Samahata. After that, the entire cave was filled with water, and that shinobi became almost a shark. Naruo realized that it was Kisame. Training with sharks was not in vain. Naruto felt in the water just like Kisame. Managed to react to Naruto's blow, but then his neck was hit from the other side. Naruto said. Naruto, there are two. Then all the water evaporated. Behind Naruto, he heard the clang of metal and saw that the tail of the doll was flying towards him. Naruto dodged and created a clone. And went to some plant. As it turned out it was a Zetsu. Naruto cut off his head. Zetsu, Kagayasama, I failed you. Meanwhile, his clone killed a red-haired guy. Naruto saw five more shinobi who were not there and they were all red. Naruto created four more clones. The Naruto clone helped him and cut off the head of the redhead. As it turned out, the clones had already killed everyone and even the animals that one of the redheads called for. Only the purple-haired girl remained. Naruto told her. Naruto, I will not kill you only under one condition. If you tell the one who controlled the bodies, then that he should protect this world, and not harm it. If you don't hand it over to him, I will kill you. The girl understood everything and flew away somewhere, thanks to paper wings. Naruto got up to extract the bijou from the statue, because he felt their chakra in it. Released all the bijou opened a portal in front of them and said. Naruto, my friends in that world, Kurama is waiting for you. You will be safe there and no one will seal you. 
I guarantee you, therefore, go there faster. See you soon. After everyone went there, Naruto closed the portal. And then the stone scattered in all directions. And Naruto saw. Part 31 The stone shattered into many pieces. Erased Shinobi rushed into the cave. Among all this crowd, Naruto found the Kage and went to them. Having reached the Kage, he preached to them. Naruto, hey, how are you? Minato asked him. Minato, are you done yet? Naruto replied, yes, and how much time has passed? Anoki said. Anoki, 129 seconds. Naruto replied, not bad, but the result needs to be improved. All the Kage didn't believe Naruto and thought that he was just afraid of Akatsuki. But Derui and Chojuro ran up to them and said. Chojuro and Derui, Kagesama, all the Akatsuki have been killed. The Jinchuriki are in a coma. All the Kage fell apart from Minato. Minato said proudly. Minato, that's what Kanoha means. But Naruto stopped him. Naruto, I don't know what Kanoha means, but I know for sure that Naruto means killing all Akatsuki in 129 seconds. Now Minato fell to the floor from resentment. All the Kage became and made a unanimous decision on the council of all the Kage. Naruto said goodbye to Derui and Chojuro. After their farewell, Minato transferred Naruto to Kanoha. He reached the house in his thoughts. Entering the room, he saw Mei and Madaru talking sweetly while sitting on his bed. Naruto asked Mei what she was doing in his house. She said that she wanted to take a walk, but Naruto was not at home. Madaru offered to take a walk the three of us after Naruto came and she agreed. Madaru winked at Naruto and they went for a walk. They walked until the evening. Madara disappeared somewhere, but Mei and Naruto realized that he had left them alone. Mei asked Naruto. Mei, when are you leaving Naruto? Naruto replied. Naruto, after the Kage meeting, it's a week later. Mei sighed sadly. At midnight, Naruto came home and thanked Madara. Naruto said. Naruto, Motor is still a week old and you will go on your first trip. I also found a map from Akatsuki, I don't know if they knew about this map. Sleep. A week has passed. Naruto, Minato, why did we go to this land of samurai on foot? Minato, it's like there are marks there. And why are you so super super fast you won't inform me? Naruto, okay, but then don't complain about the weak vestibular apparatus. Naruto took Minato in his arms and ran at 60% of his maximum speed. After a couple of minutes they were in the country of iron. Minato immediately ran into the bushes. Two days later they were already there. A day later, all the Kage came. And Derui. They had fun. At the meeting, the Kage discussed the issue of Jinchuriki. They also discussed Uzumaki Naruto. The power that the Kage saw was enough to fear him. Lost and he was told to do a somersault on the table where the meeting was taking place. Naruto got out of this situation. He did this somersault so quickly that no one understood anything. But Anoki was hurt. After four hours, all issues were resolved. A peaceful alliance of all villages was concluded. And a special detachment of Jinchuriki was created. Leaving the office, Naruto said to Minato that he was running to Kanoha. Minato nodded. Naruto ran at maximum speed and after 15 seconds was at home. Having collected his things, he took Madora, left a note to his friends and ran to another continent. Part 32 New Continent Kakashi left Naruto's apartment and said to himself. Kakashi, it means he left for training, he just came and immediately leaves. I'll go Itachi and Shursue to tell, and they are already Mei. In the Uchiha clan. Shursue, he's gone again. Itachi said sadly. Itachi. I wanted to show him so many things. Kakashi added. Kakashi, also, these Akatsuki with Hokage missions were loaded, even with him it was not possible to spend time. All three sighed. Meanwhile in the forest on the border of the land of fire and tea. Naruto, Maru, I suggested that it would be faster through the country of the earth, and then through the country of the tiger. Madora replied. 
Maru, Naruto, Naruto, and we fit in ahead of schedule, especially since there are so many Nukunins in those countries. You would have to save a lot of people, and it would take too much, but it's calm in the land of tea right now. Naruto silently walked on. Madora asked him. Maru, why aren't you using your speed? Naruto replied. Naruto, I want to see nature. Madoru hit his forehead. Nevertheless, they were already in the country of tea. After a couple of hours they came across a village. As it turned out, it was abandoned. Having found the most well-groomed house, they settled in the village. Naruto got tired of the day. He asked Madora. Naruto, maybe we'll run to the port at speeds. Madora replied. Motor, only three days left to go. Naruto immediately began to swim to the surface with all his speed. After five seconds, he was on the ship. He created clones to push the ship from behind in order to quickly swim away from here. Motor just wanted to ask what happened, but immediately saw the island rising up. After a couple a giant turtle towered for minutes. And the tons of water that splashed out raised such waves that the ship of Naruto and Madora almost broke. But the clones of Naruto got to work and soon the turtle disappeared from sight, but its terrible roar was heard. Six days after that by chance, Naruto saw land. Sverov with a map, he realized that this was a new continent. He called Madora. Both standing at the edge, they laughed because after three weeks they found what they were looking for. The ship was standing near the shore. Naruto wanted to jump onto land, but he heard. After five seconds, he was on the ship. He created clones so that they would shove the ship from behind in order to quickly sail away from here. Madora just wanted to ask what happened, but immediately saw how the island was rising up. A giant turtle towered up in a couple of minutes. Such waves that the ship of Naruto and Madora almost broke. But Naruto's clones got to work and soon the turtle disappeared from sight, but its terrible roar was heard. Six days after this incident, Naruto saw the land. Sverov with the map, he realized that this is a new continent. He called Madora. Both standing at the edge, they laughed because after three weeks they found what they were looking for. The ship was standing near the shore. Naruto wanted to jump onto land, but he heard. After five seconds, he was on the ship. He created clones so that they would shove the ship from behind in order to quickly sail away from here. Madora just wanted to ask what happened, but immediately saw how the island was rising up. A giant turtle towered up in a couple of minutes. Such waves that the ship of Naruto and Madora almost broke. But Naruto's clones got to work and soon the turtle disappeared from sight, but its terrible roar was heard. Six days after this incident, Naruto saw the land. Sverov with the map, he realized that this is a new continent. He called Madora. Both standing at the edge, they laughed because after three weeks they found what they were looking for. The ship was standing near the shore. Naruto wanted to jump onto land, but he heard. But immediately I saw how the islands were rising up. After a couple of minutes, a giant turtle towered up. And the tons of water that splashed out raised such waves that the ship of Naruto and Madora almost broke. A terrible roar was heard. Six days after this incident, Naruto saw land. Sverov with a map, he realized that this was a new continent. He called Madora. Both standing at the edge, they laughed because after three weeks they found what they were looking for. The ship was standing near the shore. Naruto wanted to jump onto land, but he heard. But immediately I saw how the islands were rising up. After a couple of minutes, a giant turtle towered up. And the tons of water that splashed out raised such waves that the ship of Naruto and Madora almost broke. A terrible roar was heard. Six days after this incident, Naruto saw land. Sverov with a map, he realized that this was a new continent. He called Madora. Both standing at the edge, they laughed because after three weeks they found what they were looking for. The ship was standing near the shore. Naruto wanted to jump onto land, but he heard. Six days after this incident, Naruto saw land. Sverov with a map, he realized that this was a new continent. He called Madora. Both standing at the edge, they laughed because after three weeks they found what they were looking for. The ship was standing near the shore. 
Naruto wanted to jump onto land, but he heard. Six days after this incident, Naruto saw land. Sparrow with a map, he realized that this was a new continent. He called Madora. Both standing at the edge, they laughed because after three weeks they found what they were looking for. The ship was standing near the shore. Naruto wanted to jump onto land, but he heard. Part 33 Beginning of Chapter 2 Naruto and Madoru on a New Continent New Part Naruto saw the jungle. Madoru said. Motor, oh, damn it, even through them. Naruto replied, knowing what and where we are looking for would be easier. Madoru nodded and they entered the jungle. Naruto couldn't even pick up his normal speed. So they moved at a normal shinobi pace. Naruto asked Madoru. Naruto, Madoru, can you make an animal and understand the language of animals? Madoru nodded. Naruto was very happy about that. They changed directions every five hours. Madoru even tried to draw a map. Realizing that things couldn't move like that. They got out directions and decided that they would follow it until they found something. After five painful days, they found the camp. There were red-haired people in it. Naruto went nuts and asked them. Naruto, how did you end up here, you Uzumaki? A long-haired man with pale red hair answered. Man, first of all, my name is Sohakuna. Let's start from afar so that everything is clear. Previously, there was one large continent, but due to the movement of tectonic plates, it was divided into two. And it so happened that this content is more strongly saturated with natural energy and because of this, the reserves and strength of the chakra are greater here, than on another continent. The Uzumaki clan was one of the first to appear on this continent. There are few clans here. Since time, the clan has split into two branches. And the second branch was not happy with its situation. And the coat of arms of the clan was slightly changed. The first branch has the same coat of arms, only one half of it is golden and the other is red. Red is clear why, and gold refers to the legend of the strongest Jujutsu golden eyes. The coat of arms is pure red. Well, I told everything. Naruto replied. Naruto, I'm Uzumaki Naruto. Sohakuna was surprised and said. Sohakuna, it seems that from that continental all the Uzumaki were taken away. Naruto asked again. Naruto, Smysel climbed in. Sohakuna replied. Sohakuna, when the government learned that the village of the Whirlpool was destroyed, and all the Uzumaki began to roam freely around the world, they decided to reunite the two branches and take all the Uzumaki from that continent to their homeland. Naruto remembered that Kakashi told him that the Uzumaki began to disappear, but he did not betray this meaning. Naruto stood in surprise. Sohakuna said. Sohakuna, in three days we will move to the main village, come with us. I'll show you to the head, and then you'll figure it out yourself. By the way, what level of Fuin do you have? Naruto showed the seal on his hand. Sohakuna was surprised and said. Sohakuna, never would have thought that Uzumaki from another continent would be able to make seals like this. It's been three days. Naruto and Madoru met two girls Kimona and Yua. They were sisters and so similar to each other that Naruto and Madoru were confused all the time. Sohakuna told the whole group that they were moving to the main village to go five days. These five days of walking were boring and didn't remember anything special. Except that Naruto was chatting all the time with Sohakuna and Yua, and Moda with everyone. Approaching the main village Siohakuna suggested. Sohakuna, Naruto, let's blindfold you for intrigue. Naruto agreed. Yua and Kimona giggled and Madara too. Naruto muttered with displeasure. Sohakuna rolled Naruto's eyes and led him away. Three minutes everyone greeted someone. And Naruto's eyes were torn apart. Naruto was stunned by this, he could not even imagine because he was in front of him. Part 34 In the village of Uzumaki They saw a beautiful city. The houses were mostly made of wood. All sorts of seals were hung everywhere. Numerous nooks and crannies departed from the main road. Some houses were painted under seals. There were many small shops with seals. There were shops lined up in houses. Its windows were some kind of seal. 
and all its inhabitants were red-haired. Naruto was stunned by such beauty. Sohakuna told Naruto. Sohakuna, Naruto, let's go to the Yuzushukich residence. Naruto replied. Naruto, you have an Yuzushukich, in the village of the Whirlpool there was an Yuzukich. Sohakuna replied. Sohakuna, this is them, and this is us. Look, a very dense network of small streets is not lost here. There are six main streets, they depart from six gates and all medium and small streets already depart from them. All main streets lead to the residence and from it to the gate and it turns out that they are divided into two parts. Naruto listened carefully. He already noticed that there were a lot of people. In conversations about the village, they approached the residence. Entering it, Naruto saw walls painted with spirals with golden backgrounds. Asked for what purpose they came here and Sohakuna told her everything. They entered the elevator. Madara was just delighted. Naruto asked. Naruto, how do your elevators work? Sohakuna answered on the seals, we are Uzumaki. Naruto thought something like that. But organizing the operation of the elevator on the seals is commendable. Here they are on the top floor in front of the Kage's office. The corridor was painted in historical plots. Naruto saw two red-haired guys. Some small village and many other things. They entered the Yuzushukage's office. It was painted in a spiral like the first floor, only the background color of one half was red and the other half was gold. The Yuzushukage, seeing them, immediately smiled and said. Yuzushukage, hello Soha, why did you come and who is with you? Sohakuna replied. Sohakuna, hello kin, I came to show you this kid. Uzumaki Naruto is called, he found our camp in the forest, so I took him here. Kin immediately responded. Kin, okay, can you please leave us alone? I'll call you later. The Trinity left. Only Naruto and Moda remained. The conversation began. Kin, Naruto, let's get down to business right away, listen carefully and remember, the one you need is Taka Ken, I'll give you a map where he lives. Then I'll tell you everything else, first tell me what level of Fuin you have. Naruto showed his palms. Kin replied. Kin, wow, I didn't expect you don't need to teach a Fuin, even I won't do that, you're just like the creator of Uzumaki. His images are in the corridor. You will go further. And now, right now, I will call Sok and his girlfriends and show you your room. Tomorrow you will already go. Do not forget to drop by after training. They went after Sohakunam and his company. Madaru remained silent the whole time. Apparently, he was thinking. They walked through the whole village. Approaching some house, the Kage said goodbye to his friend and led Naruto inside. It turned out to be the house of the Kage himself. Naruto will now live on the first floor opposite the kitchen. They had a hearty meal and went to their room. In the room, Madaru flattened himself and said. Madaru, Naruto, when we get there, I'll show you something you're going to freak out. Naruto looked at Madara approvingly and said. Naruto, climb up to me, otherwise you are lying on the floor. Madaru climbed on Naruto's bed and they chatted about everything. Tired, they went to bed. Waking up, they saw that there were two backpacks with their things in front of the bed. Leaving the room, they met Ken. He told them to do all their business and they would go. They did everything quickly. Ken gave them a map and said. Ken, it would be easier if I could put a seal there, but Taka Ken doesn't give it. Well, anyway, there is a seal nearby, you only have to go for three days. After these words, Ken teleported them somewhere. He said goodbye. Ken, look at the map. You have to go north all the time. I'll be waiting for you. Naruto took Madora with his things. He turned on the speed mode, because while walking to the village he got used to it and ran. After a couple of seconds they were at their destination, a view of them opened up. Part 35. Taka Ken and Unknown. To a small house. Suddenly, a man appeared in front of Naruto. Having carefully examined Naruto, he took his hand and led him into the house. Having seated him on a chair, he began to tell. Taka Ken, finally you came, I thought I couldn't wait. Well, listen, I think you are already strong. Well, in my opinion, 
all the parameters you have are at the level of a weak space creature, this is tolerable, although your Fuenjutsu is at the highest level. And alchemy is nothing I haven't seen such an alchemist yet, but everything else is lame. That's why you came to me. We will train Bukenjutsu and Shurikendiyutsu, and in parallel to study all types of energy and how to use them, you already know how to use several types, as I understand it. This is chakra, dragon chi, natural elements and natural energy. Well, let's take a break now, and then I'll tell you everything else. After all this, Naruto had steam from his ears. Naruto realized that his teachers were a very talkative person. Nevertheless, Naruto went to lie down on the bed. Madara jumped up to him and said that he would train with him. Naruto laughed, but thought Motor will be fine with all this. Naruto fell asleep under these thoughts. After a couple of minutes, he woke up. He ended up in some strange place. And she began to speak. Figure, Naruto, probably one of the gods of the speed of your world told you about a great danger. Now it has become even more dangerous. I am the god of the speed of all universes, I connect time with space. Block these paths, and it will take a very long time to destroy them and I will not have time. You will probably wonder why they should be destroyed or blocked. Because the most powerful creature of the high-speed world in your universe wants to pass through them. You to stop him. To help you do this, I will grant you the ability to travel in time, only it must be used very carefully. And it must also be developed until you can only travel for a few seconds. Naruto didn't even have time to say anything as he woke up. He left the room. Taka was waiting for him in the hallway. He said. Taka Ken, Naruto, let's go to my sparring ground. Naruto agreed. They went to the training ground Taka Ken said to turn on Naruto all the gates that he knows. He entered the dragon sage mode and turned on all the gates available to him. Taka turned on only eight. Before these, he made a protective dome so as not to destroy something superfluous. Naruto's speed was on par with Takaya. But in terms of reaction speed. Naruto missed blow after blow. Naruto decided to end the fight with one blow. Due to the speed, he simply pushed away from the molecules at such a speed that it seemed that he was just hovering. Naruto, due to his incredibly fast speed, cut through the molecules, and the shape of this attack resembled a palm. The palm was so large that it covered the entire polygon, so it was impossible to dodge. Palm encountered this one. There was an explosion. Everything calmed down. Taka Ken, Naruto and Madora, listen carefully to what I will explain to you now. Taka began to speak. Part 36. Training with Taka Ken. Taka, there are main types of energies and many subtypes. The main energies are cosmic universal and multi-universal, there is also a cluster energy, but we can't do it. I will teach you first the main cosmic, then the universal energy. Store and use cosmic energy. The three moved out. After a while they were in a clearing. Taka Ken told Naruto to imagine that he was in space, how he sees the black space around him, how he does not feel his weight and just soars. Naruto imagined all this, to him it was easier to thank traveling with the dragon. Then Taka told Naruto to imagine how everything around him was soaking into him, as if he were a black hole. Naruto imagined all this. Taka said to open his eyes. Naruto opened his eyes. All kinds of techniques, he saw Madora and Taka Ken. Taka Ken said that he sees this way only those who choose cosmic energy into themselves, he will see the rest as translucent essential ones, because cosmic energy is higher than natural and chakra, and those who absorbed universal and multiverse energy Naruto will not be able to see, after Taka explained everything to Naruto, he evaporated. Naruto and Madaru immediately realized that he absorbed the universal energy. Taka Ken returned and told them to give their energy back, just imagine that all the energy of the cosmos that you have flies out of you. Naruto and Madara were introduced and found themselves back in the clearing. Now Taka Ken started a dialogue. Taka Ken, look, when you're in space mode you can't see the landscape of the world, and when you're moving towards your goal, it can feel like you're going through things, you can still do that with speed modes, and if you combine them, it's something that's something. Naruto replied. Naruto, when will we learn a new kind of energy? Motor told him. Motoru, Naruto don't rush, when we're ready we'll start studying him. Taka smiled and said. 
Talk a Ken, and your fox is right, blue-haired, do not rush, when you can absorb energy in a sufficiently large volume and can quickly absorb and give it away, then we will study a new type of energy. Naruto made a sullen face. After that, Taka approached Naruto with motor in his arms, took him by the shoulder and they ended up at his house. Taka said. Taka Ken, after training, you need to eat. Having said this, he proceeded to cook food. Twenty minutes passed and Naruto and Madora had plates of food in front of them. Naruto thought it was glowing. Madora immediately pounced. There is also Madora at an incredible speed. After two minutes, the plates were empty, and two students asked for more. When they were put on, they again pounced on the food. Room. Where they talked for a long time and stormy about the culinary masterpiece of this guy. After three hours, Taka called them to the training ground. They moved out. Taka spoke. Taka, if you train well, I'll feed you again. Naruto and Madaru walked on with enthusiasm. Arriving at the training ground, Taka told them. Taka Ken, we will train Bukenjutsu and Shurikenjutsu. Naruto create clones to train Madora, and for now I will train you. Their training began. The Naruto clones showed Motor several styles of swordsmanship. Madara began to practice in them, while omitting the transformation into a man. It was an athletic guy with red hair. Also, during the training, he noticeably improved his accuracy. Madara mastered this transformation when he evolved into a more powerful version of himself. Naruto had everything another. Taka told him to show what Naruto was trained in. Naruto showed a couple of sword styles. Notice that it includes about 45 different styles. There are paid circular movements. Sharply cutting and fast flowing. Taka noted that this is a good combination of different styles. Taka started teaching Naruto and the first thing he showed him was. Part 37. That phantoms can do techniques that will cause damage. In battle, he wanted to use it like this. First, launch phantom techniques, and then real ones. It all took him a week. But this week, he also increased the speed of his reaction to combat intelligence, as well as skill in taijutsu. Madara mastered taijutsu, bukenjutsu and shurikenjutsu, as well as level of an average chunin. Naruto decided to combine all the energies that he knows into one subtype. Taka said that he had not yet seen such energies combined together. It took Naruto another month, but the result was. Although he could use this subtype for a short time, but he was strong. Naruto was covered with all the natural elements from him, lightning struck in different directions. His speed became faster, and his blows were stronger. Naruto decided to call this subtype the natural speed of all elements. Three months ago. Madara trained to the strength of an average jonin and decided that he needed to find his own way. If he followed Naruto everywhere, he would only become a burden. Madara decided to travel around the worlds of summoning and learn from different animals, the conversation with Naruto was difficult. From Motor. Naruto has become too strong and if I follow him like that, then I will remain a burden, and I want to be not only a good friend, but also comrades. Our paths should part, but I hope this will not be long. I thought about it already long enough. I need to talk to Naruto tomorrow. The next day. I entered the room and started talking. Me, Naruto, listen, I decided that our paths should part for a while. I want to be on an equal footing with you, and not like you saved me in dangerous situations, although I'm already strong enough by the standards of a shinobi, but our enemies are not they. After my words. He looked at me so that I felt sick. Naruto went to the window and said. Naruto, Maru, I thought about you for a long time, I wanted to teach you everything I know. But since you want to go your own way, I won't keep you. Worlds of speed, if you die there, I will not look for you. After these words, I saw how his tears were falling on the windowsill. I immediately left him and closed the door because I couldn't see him like that. He seemed strong to me, and now he's a child whose toy was taken away. I couldn't. On the street, I called back and ended up. End on behalf of Motor. Naruto was already eating his food. It was delicious, but Motor didn't have enough. In training, he forgot, but the training did not last forever. Naruto wanted to quickly go on a trip again to forget in them. 
After a delicious breakfast, Taka took Naruto to the training ground and said. Taka, Naruto, you've been training for cosmic energy for half a year, it's time to show you. Part 38 It's time to show you the universal energy. Taka finished. And Naruto tried to remove the bangs from his eyes. All the same, years without a hairdresser make themselves felt. But then Naruto realized what Taka said and he became interested. Taka began training. About Madoro. Madoro used the callback technique. He ended up in an ordinary forest. And right in front of him, this forest began to transform into another location. In front of him was a steep slope at the top of which there was a cave, there were many tents around it. A white fox came out of one tent. Approaching he carefully sniffed motor and turned into a boy of about ten years old with white hair and ears. And he began a conversation. Boy, hi hi, I'm Baku, what's your name, and don't wait, wait how did you get here, but better who are you, you have the same ears, but I understand you are this Karama from Red Foxes or you are someone else. Motor just wanted to answer when Baku immediately spoke. Baku, a a a a not you not Karama that more you this what's his name okay let's go, do you like grass? I have a lot of it or do you eat meat, if so, how are you, that it's not for me to decide, it's better to go to my father, but no, let's better go to Dobby's posture or you can sing. The boy did not have time to finish speaking. He was interrupted by a man who looked like this boy. Madara thought it was the boy's father. The man said. Man, Baku, don't distract the guest, he must go with me. The fox answered. Baku, okay dad. The man gestured to Motor to follow him. Their entire path was passed in silence. They passed many tents. Some sold injuries, some meat, some were closed. Closed tents were more trade. Madara thought they were inhabited. After about fifteen minutes of walking, a tent began to rise above the tents. Madara asked what it was, and the man only replied that it was their main temple. A few minutes later they were already inside it. In it stood idols carved from wood and stone, decorated with iron stakes. At the end of the tent sat the fox. They approached him and he said. Part 39.1 Part 2 Chapter is over. Fox, I am the elder of the white foxes. According to our prediction, you are the one who will know the wisdom of all the worlds of summoning. Therefore, we will teach you everything we know. Thus began Motor's hard training. Now he is on the mountain of toads. Before them, he visited earthen salamanders. They taught him to unite sage modes. And now Motor is as strong as a Kage. And if you connect all three sage modes, he will be very strong. About Naruto. Naruto began to study universal energy. As Naruto found out, this is the second stage of cosmic energy. It increases the advantage of cosmic energy and removes its minus. Now Naruto can see in this energy mode as usual, and not just space. It was impossible to concentrate. So, in order to enter the mode of universal energy, it was necessary to discard all feelings. Fear, pleasure, longing, love, etc. And Naruto could not discard all this for a long time. But in the end he could. Easy, but even with this, he had the feeling that something was missing from him, but everything returned to the place when Naruto left this mode. In this mode, all Naruto's characteristics increased a lot. Naruto had already fought on par with Taka in Taijutsu, Kenjutsu. Taka understood that Naruto had no equal in Ninjutsu. And it was time to tell him about it, Taka had thought about this since Madara left. But a little more than half a year had already passed and he had to tell him. Taka thought that the time had already come. The conversation was in the evening. Taka entered Naruto's room and began to talk. Taka Ken, Naruto, but it's time for us to part ways. Your purpose here was to prepare for one thing and the preparation is complete. I'll let this Uzumaki know that you're on your way. All Uzumaki, and thanks to his technique, he can return Uzumaki back to the village, but this technique takes years of his life, so he used it one time. So your goal is to find mentors and allies for yourself. But not in our universe, but in others. Tomorrow I'll tell you how to go there and I'll pack my things myself, don't worry. Gain strength, kid. Taka left the room. And Naruto thought for a long time and because of this he could not fall asleep. 
but fatigue took its toll and Naruto fell asleep. In the morning, in a good mood, Naruto ate. And talked to Taka. Taku was his good friend, there were not many of them. Naruto could not have heart-to-heart -heart conversations with the first one, for example, with Madora or Itachi. Taka, you probably haven't run as fast as you can yet, but now it's time for you to run. You need to enter the universal energy mode and reach your maximum speed. Come on, don't delay. Naruto did not understand why Taka was in such a hurry. But he obeyed and entered the universal mode and began to scatter. After a couple of milliseconds, he had already reached his maximum speed. And Taka. And that's when Naruto was right in front of the shore. He was gone. Naruto stopped. And saw. 